Hey, good morning, Bills My Fayo. What's up? Uh, it is the morning after the game. I didn't record anything after the game last night. I was kind of tired, but um, it was a good game. I I was pleased for the most part with what happened last night. Um, I, <laughs> the areas of concern, obviously, um, Tredavious White, that did not look good. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Sean McDermott uh, said he didn't know at the time uh, last night what you know what what the diagnosis was. Obviously, um, but that's concerning. That is very concerning. Dane Dane Jackson and Levi Wallace out there as your one and two does not. Uh, to me does not spell confidence in the defense's ability to play man if they have to play man. Um, so there's probably gonna be a lot of zones and when you play a team like New England, which is our next opponent, zone defenses will be eaten alive. Um, so hopefully, hopefully he's okay. Um, Deion Dawkins was a concern last night. I, man, I had posted on one of the Bills fan pages that I didn't think Deion Dawkins was a problem, but last night, good grief. Um, he had, I mean, going into the game, he was one, you know, he had the least pressures against him, but last night, he just got beat a few times, and, and I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um... But overall, the Bills played a good game. Uh, the two interceptions were a little concerning. Um, I'm still seeing uh, Josh Allen. Josh Allen has got to learn. One of the things he's got to learn, in my opinion, is the fact that he does not have an offensive line that is giving him enough time to hold on to the ball. You don't want to make mistakes, but you don't want to hold on to the ball you don't want to stare down receivers. You've got to make quicker decisions in the passing game. And I don't think he's doing that. And so what happens is you make, you exacerbate the problem. You've got a problem on the offensive line, but you have to know that you, as a quarterback, you have to know that you have a problem and you have to be the solution or you have to be part of the solution. You have to say, okay, I'm not going to have six seconds to sit back here and scan the field. I need or wait for a particular receiver to come open. I've got to make a decision, get rid of the ball, and go on to the next play. Um, and he's not doing that to me. Um, and I think that's where I think that's where his problem lies. Um, but they did what they were supposed to do. They beat. They beat the brakes off of the Saints. It was really never a game. They scored the opening touchdown, and, you know, the, <laughs> the Saints just did not look like, man, I, I know it's probably because they have a number of people that are out. They had a number of people that are out. They just did not have their players at all. Like It would be like if um, Josh Allen, uh, Devin Singletary, uh, <laughs> um, Emmanuel Sanders and uh, and uh, Stephon Diggs were out for the Bills. The Bills would look like crap, and that's how the Saints looked yesterday. Um, so you kind of expected it, but I will say this: um, it, it was it you know it was fun to, fun to watch the Bills do what they did. Um, the run game, the number of runs I thought were a a direct result of them not running and and some people will say well, we we are a passing team we've got all these receivers we should be passing the ball more yeah yeah we should but what happens is they have to in a game where you're basically going you know you're not going to lose this game if you play the right way and they were playing the right way so what they did was and i don't think it was putting it on film i think it was practice it was almost like they were hand treating the game as practice. Look, this is how we're going to have to be able to run the ball if we have to. Not, this is going to be our game plan going forward, but um, we're gonna treat this as practice. We're going to run all of these plays 
because one, we're going to put it on film and two, we're going to uh, make sure that we know how to do it, get our confidence up in doing it. And so that's what they did last night. I don't think it was an indication that from now on, they're going to be 50% run, 50% pass. I just think that they wanted to uh, make sure they knew that they could do it, you know, okay. All right, if we have to do it, this is what we have to do. You know, if, if it's, you know, if the conditions are adverse, let's go to this game plan that we ran against New Orleans. We ran it in an actual game and it worked, so let's do it here. And I think that's what's, I think that's what's going to happen. And the whole Matt Breida thing, I, Matt Breida played a great game. Um, apparently, I, he must have gotten in the doghouse somehow because the second half of the game, he hardly ran the ball at all. He was hardly on the field. So, uh, But Devin Singletary had a good game. They didn't have a good per-run average. Um, but they ran the ball, and they were effective when they had to be. So hopefully this is a sign of things going forward. We've got quite a few days until the next game. Hopefully Tredavious White can get back, and uh, we can go forward. And get start stacking some wins because the the uh, the Raiders won yesterday, so they're still hot on our heels. Um, obviously, the the Patriots hopefully will get beaten by the Titans because I don't think uh, the number one seed is in our is in our uh, sights right now, um, at least not for now. But we got to win the division. I I don't want to want the Bills to have to go on the road for all three you know, to win all three games to get to the Super Bowl. So hopefully that'll work out. As always, go Bill.